Hi Virgo, welcome to a new reading. This is a timeless reading, as you already know, meant to reach you right in this moment. Old friend, nice to have you here. New friend, hit that subscribe button and join me for future readings. Let's see, what is the message for you right in this moment? What is it that you need to know right now? And you have nothing is nothing is set in stone things are changing things are moving so don't you think that that's it this is it never be so sure okay because nothing is permanent things are always changing no matter what we talk about there is always something coming up now we will see what else you've got here so you have the star card some of you talks about something that may have started in the winter or that will take place in the winter. Please take it as it resonates. For others of you in the next two to four weeks, there is a change. All right. There is a change. Um, what this means, this change depends of okay depends on your attitude so you know don't rush into anything and why i say that because you may not have all the details so before especially especially if you think about ending something make sure you know exactly what you are doing make sure you know everything about the situation there is this need of just don't rush don't take a final decision i don't know with what but don't make it because you might not be aware of certain things the star card shows that maybe you want very much to achieve your goal to go on your I don't know, your own path, do something just the way it feels right for you. And I always support that. But right now it's like, you don't know for sure. I don't know what, I don't know what, Virgo. So let's see, look at the King of Swords here. King of Swords is a good thinker, right? Is someone who has discipline, someone who is thinking a lot, more with the head then with the heart and i make rhymes too <laughs> um you know the thing is having the king of swords here just reinforces what i just said that you need to give a good thinking you need to make sure that what you think about this situation is exactly like that yeah we have the four of pentacles someone here holding on tightly to maybe save money to or you are looking for this security in your life you are looking for how can i make more but you are holding so tightly into something all right mm -hmm. actually you know the the four of pentacles for me many times feels like actually insecurity you you protect yourself so much um and sometimes this is the worst that you can do you know when you are in this um uh, position to just hold on tightly there not moving it's bad and your cards are showing me that yes you are unable to move um you feel trapped you feel stuck in a place that makes you feel um you so so unstable so what's the thing here virgo um you see things as you as you expect you know example let's say you you meet with someone right now and you have a conversation but before you meet with that person your opinion about them is that they are arrogant that they are selfish they are all these bad things a person that always take advantage of others, so on, so on. You have a certain 
a perspective when it comes to this person. And when you meet with them and you talk, your attitude is already set up. It's like you don't even give it a chance, right? You're already projecting, you're already uh, acting a certain way based on your beliefs, which might be true or not. So this is what I'm trying to say here, that you need to to a little bit, you know, yeah, relax if I can say that. You see, with the lovers here is this need of alignment, making a choice uh, to balance your life because it's, the lovers are two persons, right? So there is this need of balance and this can be achieved only when you make the right choice. So is it really... Are you really that stuck? Because nothing is, is set in stone. So it means you can still have the chance to change something here in a much better way. Is it really that bad or you are making it worse than it is? That's the question, you know, that's the question. That's why King of Swords, mental clarity, you need to uh, really be Make sure that things are as you think they are, as you see them, right? Now we have the death card there. The death card is saying big change must take place, all right? It's time for a transition. It's time to let go of something and, uh, you know, start anew. Um the death card doesn't give you a choice. So the fact that you are here with me, you must seriously now evaluate your reality. Are things really the way you perceive? Probably not. Because I cannot let go of the six of swords in reverse. Makes me feel like, you know, you have this, you try to run away of something, believing that seeing all the bads into a situation or someone, that's that's your way out. But actually, that's the recipe for failure. So pay attention, my dear, um, my dear Virgo. You must see both sides. You must be flexible. Whew. Let's see, King of Swords. Metamorphosis. Look at this, the butterfly. Time for a change. Time. Look at this. Time to be open. Do you see this? Reinvent yourself. It's time to embrace the change. Balance. Again, the balance. Look at this. You know, if you look for perfection... That's not existing. If you are not flexible, adaptable, then you are in big trouble. It's a time, a time of big changes. And I feel like most of it is internally. In your mind, you have to make sure that you don't let your emotions to dictate you. How to act with the people around you. How to make decisions in your own life here. You know... Um, it's good to have dreams, but don't go too far. All right? You need to, to stay grounded. It's like I almost get the feeling of extremes. Extremes. You are um, either too happy, either too sad, uh, either too cold, either too warm, you know? And you have to find the middle. Now, we have here two people. Interesting. We have the woman and the man. Isn't this interesting? We have the lovers. A choice. A connection here. That requires maybe more attention. For some of you, this can talk literally about a, a connection here. And we have the destiny. 
this might be for some of you a connection that came to an end because we have the cross and was meant to be this way and now you need to move on from that with the death card is like you could have not stopped this let go move on from it the bridge for others of you this talks about a big change uh, that needs to take place into a connection or partnership here you know um, choosing to to try something new not doing the same old thing right uh, not putting the this heaviness of being happy on someone else's shoulders uh, you know so has to be because you have the bridge here and it's about an equal give and take a relationship means compromise either is work either is love um, always has to be communication clear communication and collaboration right so no matter how you take it um, it's so important to uh, don't enter into a connection i call it connection because can be love or work take it as it resonates but if you from the beginning you are like i want this company to make me rich i want this person to make me happy i am with them because i believe they will make me happy i believe i will be rich so that's the recipe for failure because it's kind of like you put yourself there you know on a chair sit down and let them to show you what they can do for you and that's bad no matter how many relationship you may try you will never find um you will never be happy why because this is what's happening when you are not happy with yourself and you try to fill that void by being with one person or another you know so it's about being good with yourself and then finding someone that you can you know share with this this your life your happiness your um abundance not going in empty and expecting like the other one to do everything for you so this is very important this is something that you needed to hear um right now my dear soul thank you so much for being here with me can't wait to see you next time make sure to subscribe to turn on that notification bell it's totally free and this is what connects us here love and light <laughs>